I was super hyper kid, and I think I was an agitator. <laughs> I was a guy like, if you was a bully, I'd probably make you kind of mad at me, so we'll probably get into it and end up fighting. The whole reason I got into boxing because my dad heard about me fighting. My dad was just like, you get ready. And I was like, what? He was like, you just get ready. I didn't know where we was going. And then next thing you know, we pulling up to a boxing gym. I'm like, what are we doing here? Like, I already know how to fight. <laughs> like, like, His dad was like, you think you can help him? I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I can. He had it. He just didn't know it was in there. I just enhanced it. It was like a little garage. It was hot in there, and my friends, they just quit. I wanted to quit, too, and then I said, I'll never forget, my dad told me, he said, if you quit at this, you'll quit at anything in life. And I'm not gonna let you quit. And then after a while, I just fell in love with it, and the rest was history. Certain things happened, they realized that it's not just me, I'm fighting for, I'm fighting for everybody because everybody's sacrificing their own way. Like my dad, you know, he sacrificed, my mom sacrificed, my sisters even sacrificed because everybody kind of took a back seat to me to see my dream. So this is not only just you know, my dream, this is everybody and I feel like everybody around me and my loved ones should benefit off of it. I just stay focused, stay grinding because I know I'm doing it for a bigger reason than just myself. My hometown, I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, born and raised. We don't have any professional sports teams that's in the state of Nebraska. What drew me to boxing was I was in the neighborhood of fighting. I was one of those kids that didn't have anything to do. He was a bully. He was hard hit. He wouldn't listen. <laughs> the owner of the gym actually lived behind me. He asked me if I want the box. I was like, yeah, I'll box. I actually got kicked out twice. Because <laughs> like I said, I was one of those little knucklehead kids that didn't want to listen, didn't want to follow directions, just thought that I can do whatever I wanted to do. He always been like that. He'll try you. He's not, he's not afraid of nothing. Nothing. I always expect myself to become a world champion. I always said it. I said it, I said it, I said it over and over and over. It's my job to see this little young cat through to he get out the ring. Watch him come up as a young kid to young adult to a father to the champion that he is today to him being ready to step in the ring, the toughest fight ever. I'm just going to say I'm glad to be a part of it. A lot of people see the glitter and the glamour, but they don't see the struggle. They don't see the pain. He works hard, and he always said he's going to be a millionaire. I'm impressed. Well, it's important to me to give back to my community to be present for the next generation. Y'all know what I'm gonna do. Give them hope, give them inspiration that if Terrence Crawford from Omaha, Nebraska can do it, then I can do it too from Omaha, Nebraska as well.